man I just wanted to jump on and share um, something I've been really convicted of those who don't know me and most of you don't um, I have a real Messiah complex and let me explain um, I love helping I love serving I love being the one that does the work you know I am a worker bee um, I love to accomplish things. I love to set goals and crush them. Um, and so that goes for life. That goes for the gym. That goes for family. And it goes for kingdom. You know, so as we're pursuing the Lord, I take a lot of pride in how hard I work for Jesus. You know, and, you know, not from the standpoint of I'm working for my salvation, but just being one that puts in the work. You know, I love to work and I take pride in it. And so everything that's going on, um, <clears throat> you know, with this platform, Instagram, you know, the Lord has given me through Instagram to reach the lost, to connect with, you know, with individuals like yourself who are all over the world. And, um, just the Lord has done amazing things through it. And, uh, you know, and, and it's pushing out content all the time, doing things like this. Um, this is more random and kind of spur of the moment. The Lord will give me something. I just want to jump on and share. Um, you know, devotions that I, I put out on Tuesdays and Fridays, I mean, they take a lot of prep, um, a lot of spending time in the word and, and being with the Lord and, um, the Lord giving me things and, you know, and then just serving at church, you know, I lead a middle school life group, um, you know, leading a discipleship group locally, leading a new discipleship group on here. It's an international, um, what I call the international glory gang. Uh, and then starting this clothing line, which is going to drop this week. And it's, it's coming where websites about to go live. And I've been working hard behind the scenes on really putting out quality Christian apparel and for it to be an extension of what this, you know, what, what this is broken and chosen. It's, you know, being able to continue this story through clothing. Um, and there's more to come on that, but there's been a lot of work and it's been a lot of stress and, and I've been, I've been worn out, but I keep going hard for the kingdom. But then you factor in family, wife, kids, work. I have a full-time job. Um, and there's been some, some, a little bit of drama there, a little bit of stress. And so last week I came home and I was just beat, beat up. And I mean, to the point where I physically feel taxed. Like I, I just said this weekend, I just wanted to lay in bed. I didn't want to, I wasn't my normal self and I have my normal energy, very short, short fuse, short tempered, um, short with the kids, which isn't fair to them. And, uh, even not even wanting to wake up Sunday and go serve these, these middle schoolers, you know, and, and just, you know, not even feeling at my, you know, my normal self, my normal capacity, but waking up this morning and getting in the word. And I just felt so convicted. And the reason I was convicted was because I know it's sinful to try to be the Messiah, <laughs> you know, like I'm going to save the world. And that's my problem in my pride. I think that man, without me, what's going to happen. <laughs> and the Lord is saying, what? I don't even need you. Like, you know, I'm using you for my glory. Let's not allow that to go to your head. Lower yourself, put yourself in a place of humility. And that's what I felt the Lord was really impressing upon my heart in a loving way. I know the Lord loves me and I know, I know he likes me. I think there's a day. I think the Lord loves everyone but I don't think the Lord likes everyone. And I mean, that's a whole nother topic, but I really believe the Lord, you know, he, you know, when you're truly, you have a friendship with Jesus, like it's a different level. It's like, and I feel like the Lord likes me and he can, he can take these little jabs at me and convict my heart and say, you know what, Sleem, you're not the Messiah. I am. And, and I wanted to point out that, that we can joke about this and say, I got a Messiah complex, but it's really sinful. And as I sat there, I felt like, wow, how dare I take the spotlight of the Lord, or how dare I take any of the glory? How dare I think that I can carry anything without him? And so I prayed and I asked the Lord for forgiveness and cried out to him. And, and then it was this morning, my son comes out to do his devotion and listen to this. It was like, okay, so this is the little Jesus calling little kid's book. Okay. He came out and just straight whacked me over the head with it. Not really, but the words did, but it says here on this day, my spirit in you is the title. John 14, 16, then I will ask the father to send you the Holy spirit who will help and help you and always be with you. It says here, I am the creator of heaven and earth. 
I am the Lord of all that is and all that ever will be. I am bigger than all the heavens. But when you choose to become one of my followers, I come to live inside of you. Think about that for a moment, about who I am and how big I am. And then rejoice because my spirit lives in you. The Holy Spirit is always there to help you. Just ask. And when everything is going your way and life seems easy, you may be tempted to go at it alone. But that is when you are in your greatest danger. The evil one is just waiting for you to let your guard down, to step away from my protection, to ask my spirit to help you in every step of the way during hard times and easy times. The spirit makes you strong. Read on your own, John 14, 17, Zechariah 4, 6. So when I open this, <laughs> Zechariah 4, 6, listen to this. Then he said to me, this is what the Lord says to Zerubbabel. It is not by force nor by strength, or I think, nor by your own wisdom or whatever else you're trying to conjure up your energy to be able to accomplish my will, but my, by my spirit, the Lord of heaven's armies. The spirit is what empowers us to do the work. When we are trying to do the work in our own power, we're trying to be the savior. We're, we're trying to go out and build and build and build on our own power and, oh, look at me, I'm the one. It, it, it's impossible. What he's saying is only by my spirit can that happen. And then when I flip over to John 14, and you, a lot of you may know this, but John 14, 17 says, he is the Holy Spirit who leads all in, leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it's, it, isn't look, it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you and in you and later, will, uh, sorry, and later will be in you. So this was Jesus telling his disciples, I'm going to be leaving and I'm going to send my spirit. I'm going to send the great comforter, the advocate. And so my friends, I wanted to encourage you because I am I have been struggling and I was smacked upside the head with God's word this morning, be, being reminded that I can do nothing in my own power. Apart from Christ, I can do absolutely nothing. So this is why it's important for us to abide in Christ, to, to stay connected to the vine. Because we can do a lot of great things in our power, but nothing that's lasting, nothing that is going to be eternal, you know? And so I come to you tired. I come to you guys weary, weary and burdened. And I've already, I've already come to the Lord and I've already repented. And I, and I've, you know, I prayed Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 over myself. Come to me. Those who are weary, those who are burdened, those who, who are just down in the, in, in the, the, the dumps, in the trenches, and I will give you rest. The Lord says, bring it to me, son, and I will give you rest. He's telling me you're taking on too much. You are trying to do too much and you're not built for that. You don't have the shoulders to carry that kind of load, but my shoulders can carry it. And that's what Jesus is saying. So he's saying, bring it to me. There's no reason. Listen, if I'm in line with God's will, I should not be feeling physically ill. Okay. <laughs> like, that is a sign that I'm taking on too much. So somebody out there may be doing the same. And so I want to encourage you to, um, to take that advice and take it from someone who is learning the hard way, man. I love you guys with the love of Christ and I'm thankful for your friendships and I look forward to, um, to continuing down this journey and Hey, stay tuned because I'm going to be letting y'all know about this, this, this clothing line and I'm uh, working out all the details, international shipping versus domestic shipping. And, and that's a whole other nightmare. Um, all my friends who are international, man, I'm trying to figure out how to get this merch to you guys cheap, as cheap as possible because it's not cheap to ship internationally. But, uh, man, me and my wife are so excited about it. We got some really cool designs and, um, some amazing conversation starters. That's for sure. Uh, so I look forward to, uh, to sharing more with you and much love to you all.